Researchers have discovered a previously undiscovered region in the universe that is home to cosmic flashes and have been able to observe them. In addition, it's likely that this provides a clue to an unanticipated origin that has never been discovered previously. Since their discovery in 2007, when they were initially discovered, astronomers have been striving to solve the riddles that surround quick radio flashes. Because they came from such far locations in the universe, it was hard to figure out what was causing the mysterious radio flashes that were detected. All of this changed in the late 2020s when researchers found brief radio flashes that appeared to be coming from our own Milky Way galaxy. Prior to this discovery, everything appeared to be as it had been. Astronomers have discovered brief radio flashes that are located far closer to the Earth than was previously believed. This discovery is a first of its kind. Radio flashes in space may be somewhat unpredictable and create flashes that are both extremely fleeting and enormous. During these brief bursts of activity, enormous quantities of energy are discharged in a very short length of time. They occur at the rate of one million every second. In spite of this, each lightning strike generates the same amount of energy as the sun does in a single day. 2007 was the year when scientists discovered the very first fast radio flash. Since that time, researchers have seen fast radio flashes in a number of different places, one of which is the Milky Way. More than 99% of them are located in other galaxies that are very far away. Only a few, chosen specifically, have been looked at in further detail. In the year 2020, Wang's research team was the first to identify the unknown signals, and they did it with the assistance of the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. ASCAP is the abbreviation. According to Tara Murphy, a researcher who works in the field of astronomy, ASCAP was utilized in the years 2020 and 2021 in order to search for new and unusual objects in the sky. We were successful in achieving our objective. The object referred to by its coordinates as ASCAP J173608.2-32161 was discovered by us when we looked at the center of the Milky Way. It was a phenomenon that had never been seen before, because it first looked to be invisible, then brightened, then vanished, then finally reappeared. That was a very great accomplishment. It required a network of 12 radio telescopes in Europe's European VLBI network, EVN, to follow these recurrent bursts almost 12 million light years away from Earth. A discovery that is shocking, because it is the source of quick radio flashes that is located the closest to where we are. In addition to this, the researchers were taken aback when they observed brief radio flashes in this region. It was found that a globular cluster, which is a dense gathering of incredibly old stars, may be located at a specific location. It's astounding, the researcher Franz Christen said about the discovery of a short radio flare in a globular cluster. Franz Kirsten. This particular area of interstellar space is home to nothing but long dead stars. Fast radio bursts have been found in distant galaxies, which indicates that the stars in those galaxies are significantly younger. Who or what is responsible for the abrupt surges in electromagnetic activity? There is a possibility that the flashes were caused by an item that had been predicted but was never actually seen. There is a chance that the bursts are being caused by a magnetar, which is thought to have arisen from the collapse of a white dwarf star under the influence of its own gravity. Since their discovery, magnetars have been thought to be the origin of short radio bursts. Magnetars are an incredibly rare type of neutron star that are the remnants of huge stars that have collapsed and become extremely compact. On the other hand, it's possible that a very rare magnetar was the source of today's radio blasts. Many of the stars that make up a star cluster can combine to become binary stars. Sometimes the distance between two stars is so small that one of the stars can take up material from the other star. This happens when the gap is extremely small. A white dwarf star can transform into a neutron star if it has taken up sufficient material from its companion star. According to the findings of researcher Mohit Bardwaj, this is an infrequent event. Yet, among a cluster of old stars, it is the quickest approach to make fast 
radio flashes. Although the research contributes to an advancement in our understanding of fast radio flashes, it also leads to the emergence of new questions. The scientists were taken aback by the fact that some of the recorded flashes were far shorter than they had anticipated. According to the researcher Kenzie Nemo, there were flashes that changed in brightness with only several tens of nanoseconds. To explain where they came from, you need a space that's only a little bit bigger than a soccer field, and the breadth probably shouldn't be more than a few tens of meters. There is still a significant amount of work to be done in order to comprehend these unique and peculiar occurrences. Future observations must reveal if the source of Messier 81, often known as M81, is an unusual magnetar or something else, such as an unusual pulsar, or a black hole that is circling a big star in a close orbit. He comes to the conclusion that these brief radio flashes appear to give us with new and unexpected insights into the life and death of stars. It's possible that we might learn more about the life cycle of stars if we studied them in the same way as supernovas. The discovery of these radio signals in the year 2020 was quite exciting, but the search for their origin was difficult. The case of ASCAP J173608.2-321635 has not been solved to this day since no one has been able to find it. According to Wang, the most peculiar characteristic of the new signal is its high degree of polarization. The fact that its light only goes in one direction, despite the fact that it spins over time, demonstrates that its light only rotates in one direction. The brightness of the item shifts by a factor of up to 100, and the signal sometimes arrives and departs for no discernible reason. Nothing even like similar has ever taken place in the past. The radio bursts cannot be explained by any of the concepts that astronomers have proposed as possible explanations for them. To begin, we considered pulsars and huge solar flares as potential explanations for the unexplained occurrence. We would predict that a heavenly object of this kind would release a unique collection of signals. This is how the story continues on and on. In the year 2020, researchers collaborating with ASCAP made the groundbreaking discovery of the mysterious radio signal for the first time, finding it six times over a span of nine months. The efforts made to locate its origin in visible light came up empty. Both the Parkes Radio Telescope and the following studies were unsuccessful in their attempts to determine the origin of the waves. This was then followed by an experiment that was carried out in South Africa utilizing the Meerkat radio telescope, which is far more sensitive than its predecessor. Since the signal only appeared sometimes, and the telescope was unable to conduct a constant search for it, it was decided that each week there would be a glimpse of the core of our Milky Way for 15 minutes. The reason for this, according to Dr. L, a scientist and an authority on the topic, is with the hope that we would detect the signal again. The researchers, too, had a stroke of good luck. The signal has restored, according to Murphy. This, however, did not give an answer to the puzzle that was being asked. In point of fact, the circumstance had become significantly worse over the course of time. In contrast to the conclusions obtained through ASCAP in the past, this time the source was only detectable for around one day before it vanished entirely. In spite of this, it is not much easier to comprehend what the nature of the object actually is. The evidence we have does reveal some similarities with another class of weird entities known as GCRTs, says scientist David Kaplan. GCRTs, radio waves, are also occasionally released by these things whose identities have not been determined. Our new object, ASCAP J173608.2-321635, shares certain features with GCRTs, but it also has its own properties that are unique to it. The fact that we do not yet have a full comprehension of these sources contributes to the mystique. Thus, everything adds up to the same thing. In the not-too-distant future, researchers will be keeping a careful eye on ASCAP J173608.2-321635 in an effort to figure out what's going on with it and solve the mystery. Alternately, the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, is a massive radio telescope that will be constructed in the next few years in Australia and South Africa to examine the origins of radio emissions. According to Murphy, it is anticipated that with the aid of the SKA, SKA, maps of the universe will be made every day, and this telescope will assist humankind in finding answers 
to mysteries such as ours. On the other hand, astronomers are not going to sit back and take credit for their accomplishments after that. It is anticipated that the observations made with the Square Kilometer Array will throw light on a number of riddles that were not previously known. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let us know in the comments what you think about these strange happenings in space. Where does the fast radio bursts come from? Where do the fast radio bursts come from? What could we do with this information? Did you find this video interesting? We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on it and we'll take you on the next space adventure. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.